Welcome back everybody, welcome back to the Doc Squiffy channel. Today we're talking about Prime Video on your Fire Stick, Fire TV, Fire TV Cube. A couple of hidden settings and features I didn't even know were there. A way to access Prime Video I didn't even know was there. Where you can access your settings, your accounts, everything. And view everything which is free to you on your Prime Video and which isn't. Um, I didn't even know this setting was there, so do stay tuned with me guys, because I want to know if you knew it was there, and if you knew you could access it this way. I've been using Fire Sticks, Fire TVs for four or five years now, and making videos about it, and I've never done this before. And it's probably quite simple, so you can all tell me to shut up, Doc. It was easy, we knew about this in a minute, but do stay tuned and let me know. Before we do that, if you can, do remember to hit that subscribe button. If you're a new viewer here, we talk about everything streaming. We talk about fire sticks, we talk about other devices, and we talk about movies, TV shows, live TV, sport, all in one place. And if you're a regular watcher, as always, let's get that share button in. And you need to all drop me a comment in a minute if you knew this was here. Okay, so we all know built into our device is Prime Video, Amazon Prime. I'd say majority of you probably have Amazon Prime. You can let me know underneath if you do or you don't. Um, it gives you a lot of content and it's worth having on a fire stick or a fire tv in my opinion i also get it because of the quick deliveries and you do a lot of ordering from amazon so for like about six seven pound a month you get your quick deliveries one day deliveries and you get free tv and films and programs on your device and you find it all like this and you look around and you can't find it but then you go that's your that's your prime video it's all in there but you go to your um settings you go to applications Manage installed applications. One of the apps you have is called Prime Video. So we scroll down to it. We get down to Prime Video under P. Open it up. So you can force stop it, clear data or clear cache. You can't actually open Prime Video. So you can't look in it and see what's going on and look at your account. But you probably all knew this. It's probably just me being an idiot. If you go into account profile and settings, you can then go to Prime Video and load up your whole Prime Video account. I didn't know this. You can select which one. Normally I would do this on my PC or something. You can edit your profile, you can change your image, not fast, or you can click on your profile. And in here you can actually look at what's in there. So, right at the top you've got your My Stuff, Categories, if you wanted to find your 4K Ultra HD stuff, which is included, Channels, Store, all the free stuff to you, which is free within your account, and home. And some of you might even find you have free stuff without having Amazon Prime. Um, but in the settings, I also found... Uh, where was it? Previews. I didn't know you could do this as well. So when you're highlighting over something or when you load it up, previews automatically play with sound. You can mute those previews. They're going to automatically play out, but if you don't want them blasting out, you can mute them. Um, your choice on that one. That was one of the hidden features I found, which I didn't even know existed, that you could mute those previews. Whether you want it or not is another matter. But you can also manage your account in here. So you can change the account, which is on your Fire TV. So if you wanted to swap to a different account, not use your Prime one, or you're logged into the wrong account, you can do that here. Um, parental controls, you have to go back to the other one, but it's like a whole new menu. Um, subscriptions, you can manage your Prime Video channel subscriptions, so if you subscribe to any specific channels. You can manage your rentals and um, purchases you have to go online for. Sync content, so you can sync content here, so if you've added stuff on your other Prime accounts on a different device, you can sync it. You can change your language, and your keyboard. So you can change them in there if you wanted it to speak differently. If you useful in my opinion. Not for me, but for a lot of you probably. You've got your usual rubbish in there and you've got your contact to stuff. So you've got suggestions in there or if you need help, it tells you the links to go to. But I think the help one's quite useful as well. If you ever have any issues with your uh fire stick, it tells you where to go. I found this quite useful though, but you can just literally click your 4K HD and you can find them all. Obviously, whether they're included or not is a different matter. But, you know, it's surprising what's in here in 4K to buy. Um, or rent. I'm not saying you want to. It's just, again, a feature I didn't know was there. You can get all your movies. Prime movies you think you like. Rent stuff. Continue watching. Prime deals. Buy and rent. 
again, this is all for Prime users, guys. If you're not an Amazon Prime user, I will link a couple of links underneath to be one for the UK sign up and one for USA sign up. So if you wanted to sign up to Amazon Prime, we will link it underneath so it's nice and easy. And then you can have it on your Fire Stick. Again, your choice. Um, we can go back again. You've got all these things. Channels, again, I don't actually have any main channels I subscribe to. But you can get some of these for quite cheap. Um, where they're cheaper than where you would normally. Premier Sports is a good one. You can sign up, get it all on there. Again, that's if you want to pay for anything on there. I'm not sure if you want to. You've got your store. And the Free To Me. Free To Me is a lot of what you'll see on your home screen. I've started watching this terminal list. I don't know if you have. I'm on to episode three. Loving it. Again, all here and all easy to watch. And then obviously you have your home where it will show a lot of stuff and recommended stuff that you've watched. And they will have a lot of the paid stuff where it'll be there. But you've got your categories, Prime videos. Again, you might just prefer using the normal home screen here. But I found you get sponsored or you're sponsored and other things come in. It's quite hard to find what's actually available. And you don't have the access to the settings themselves. Again, let me know in the comments if you knew that was there. For me, I didn't know you could access it that way on your Fire Stick. I knew you could online and on your phone and things, but I didn't know you could do it on your Fire Stick. You could be just, just tell me to shut up. Tell me I'm completely wrong. It's been there. Everyone knew about it. Who knows? You might be able to open it other ways. Let me know if you knew it was there. Let me know if you could do it. Again, for me, it is what it is. I just thought it was a good one. And there's a good couple of little settings in there. I don't like previews. I don't like loud sound jumping out at me when I'm just trying to find a program to watch. Really, really good. Again, if you are brand new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button. Um, if you are a regular watcher, remember to hit that share button. Drop us some comments underneath. Quick word before we leave from one of our partners. IP Vanish VPN is a partner of ours. They help sponsor our videos. So if you do want a VPN, the link is underneath. We don't have uh, memberships. We don't have... Patreons, we don't have donations, we don't accept anything like that, but we are affiliated with these. So if you wanted to buy yourself a VPN, if you needed one, consider using one of our links. We get a little bit of commission and you get your VPN, which you can use on unlimited amount of devices. Online safety, internet privacy, all included. Plus, this is the best deal on the internet from them, 69% off and it's going to run out soon. It includes ransomware and malware protection and a 30-day risk-free money-back guarantee for you. Brilliant. I've been Doc Squiffy, probably telling you something you already knew, but hey ho, every day's a school day. Hit those thumbs up, like, share, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.